Hello everybody, it is Dan Lags, and welcome back to the final episode of our Modern House Let's Build tutorial thingamabob here on Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Using the TU-19 features, it's looking fabulous. So guys, uh, last episode we actually closed off the house. The entire exterior is done other than the landscaping, but that's really up to you. I'll leave that. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a sample here out here in front. The back I'll leave how it is. And, you know, that's really up to you, depending on, like, what the landscape of your world is. Whether you're building this in a city, whether you're building this in the middle of nowhere, or on a hill, or on, like, flatland. It all depends on whatever, you know, the environment around it is. So, that's why I'm just decided to uh, leave that be. So, we're going to go ahead and focus on the interior today. Get that all wrapped up. Add some nice detail to the place. And we'll be good. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I want to do is work on this fireplace. So, what we need to do for this is we need to go ahead and break some blocks in here. And just fill in some space. So... What I want to start off by doing is just kind of fill in some uh, coal right here on each one of these sides like that. And then I want to go ahead and place some coal right here as well. And then, you know, a little bit of a coal backstop like that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and fill in some coal right here as well. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to get out some quartz slabs here. We're going to go ahead and replace those with the stone slabs. We're not going to need those for a little bit. And what I want to do is actually just go ahead and place some quartz slabs like this and kind of like that little formation. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar right up here. So we're just going to go like this. Kind of like go up like that. So we have a little bit of an opening space right there. And then what we can do is we can actually go grab our flint and steel real quick. And we can go ahead and flint this up. Let me just go ahead and make sure that I can get these blocks in there like that. Flint that up. Make sure it looks good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill this in right here like this. So there we go. We have our little fireplace like that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to open this up like this. We're going to take that up a couple of blocks here. And we're going to do a little bit of a backstop of, of uh, let's see, we're going to use uh, cyan stain clay like we've been using. I'm going to go ahead and open this up like that. Take that up two blocks. And then we're going to place some more slabs just like that. So it should look a little bit like that. Looking good, looking good. Then we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to clear my inventory because I'm going to need some like stuff like beacons and, you know, stuff along those lines. Flower pots, which takes up a lot of space, so... I'm going to place like a flower pot there, a beacon, like that. So it's nice and well lit. And just like that, guys, we have our fireplace design. So I like this a lot. Uh, it's kind of got like that modern look to it. Make sure, again, it's two blocks away from the wall on this side and that side. And that fire spread is off in your world. I don't think it will burn anything down if it is on. But I don't want to take that risk. Uh, I'm almost positive it doesn't. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and move up here. I decided that I'm actually going to go ahead and just leave this empty. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and like I leave it unrealistic, I guess, is the better way to say that. So basically, I'm just going to kind of fill this in. So just pretend that this is a fireplace for the house, I guess. Um, even though it really doesn't act like that on this particular build. But, you know, you can make believe. All right. So with that being done, let me go ahead and give you guys a couple of different options on what you can do for floor plans. Obviously, this is going to be kind of like a living room space when you walk into the house. Over here... Um, you know, what we have right here is, you know, you would think that this is going to be a staircase heading down. So if you're building this in, um, you know, a world that is not a super flat, this is what I'd recommend. I'd recommend making this right here a, um, a staircase heading down to like a basement where you can add maybe an extra bedroom, an extra bathroom, uh, so on and so forth, even a kitchen. But if this is, if you're building on a super flat like I am, you're going to have to, obviously you can't do that since there's not enough space. So just kind of fill this back in. And what you can do is you can actually turn this into like a kitchen counter right here. You know, you know, put your kitchen counter right here. You can have like a little uh, chair, you know, the stove and stuff can be all around this corner. And that's what I would do for that area. So um, I, I'm not going to actually furnish this particular part on this episode, but I just wanted to show you guys like my input on what you should do with that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move over to another side of the house, which is going to be over here. And we're going to go ahead and come out two blocks from this, uh, you know, this corner here. And we're going to go ahead and break this open like this all the way up to the ceiling, just like that, two blocks wide. And that is going to be our space that we're going to have for a doorway that leads to a bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and grab an, a couple of beacons real quick. And we're going to go right here, break those two blocks, and place two beacons like that. So it should be two blocks off the ground, two blocks on the ceiling. So pretty much right dead center on the wall, one block away from the corner. A couple of beacons there to light the room pretty nicely. So we're going to continue on with that space right now. So let me go ahead and get out some block of coal and some glass. First thing I want to do is just go ahead and fill this block of coal all the way to the wall here. You want this to be seven blocks total here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we already have that perfect, just like that. 
and just get this filled in like that. So it's going to be seven. We're going to take a snow wall back here. So let me just show you guys exactly how I'm going to do this. This is going to go down. I believe it's going to be 13. So we already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And you just want to fill this snow wall all the way up to the top here. We're going to have space for a bedroom, a bathroom, and a living room, and a kitchen on this build, which is pretty much everything you need. Again, it's one of those houses that looks bigger when you're on the outside, but that is tends to be a case with most modern houses. So now, finally, you want to just go ahead and fill this block, this wall here with some coal, just like this, like that. And now this room is starting to take some shape. We're going to furnish this room and add more detail to it in just a minute. I want to come back to this space here. And I want to do a little bit of some ceiling design. So what we're going to do is we're going to go diagonally three blocks from this corner of the glass and the coal. So one, two, three. And then we're going to open up a three by three space in the ceiling just like that. And that's going to add some awesome natural light to the building. It's going to line up with the fireplace actually. So again, three blocks away from this glass, three blocks away from this coal. Go ahead and just fill it in with some glass just like that. We're going to jump four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do an exact same thing again three blocks wide and I just messed that up that's not how you want to do that three blocks wide just like that go ahead and fill this in here just like that there we go so that's our first set of ceiling lights we're going to go ahead and well I guess uh natural lighting in the ceiling we do not need cactus for this build and we don't need ice either so I'm picking up blocks I don't need over here we're going to go ahead and do some stuff so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and stack up two blocks of snow caps just like this on each one of the corners here. So just go all the way around the corners like this and stack up snow caps on each one of these. This is gonna add a little bit of detail to the roof. It's not totally necessary. It looks good though. Go ahead and do this like that. And then you wanna add another layer of just one on the edges on these sides like that. So it should look a little bit like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So one, two, three and one, two, three. So that's how that's gonna look. And we're gonna have two more sets of, of glass in this particular build on the ceiling. So let's go ahead and go through here and we're gonna work on this room. So the glass in this room is gonna be uh, two blocks away from the wall, just like this. So again, two blocks away from this side, two blocks away from this side. It's gonna be actually a three by two instead of a two by two. And then you wanna actually come out here and line it up with the other one. So it's gonna be right here like that. And then this is all gonna be filled in with glass just like this. And that's going to be our natural lighting for this bedroom. So obviously you can see a ton of natural light in here, really, really uh, bright in here. Obviously at nighttime, it's going to get a little bit dark, which is why I added these beacons here. Um, and I'll show you guys some other spots where you can light stuff uh, in a second here. So let me go ahead and come back on the roof here and just fill in this design that we've been doing. So just again, two blocks all the way around, two stacks or a stack of two, I guess you could say. Just wrap it all the way around like this. All right. And then we're going to do our, our one extra stack on the side here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. So there we go, guys. We have now two sets of uh, natural lighting, which is great. So now we're going to add our third and final set, which is going to be over here. And it's going to be lined up one block away. So it's going to be kind of in the dead center of this grass. And you want to just kind of like ballpark where it's going to be and break through. And then you can kind of like see for yourself where it's going to be. Again, you want to line it up with the uh, with the other glass as well. So on the same plane, just like that. And this is actually going to be just a three by one. So it kind of like uh, slowly declines from a three by three to a three by two to a three by one. But they're all still lined up. So it looks good. And then again, you just want to do the same thing again. So you did two stacks all the way around. And I'm uh, messing this up. There we go. Again, stack of two, stack of two. Just do it all the way around like this. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. And the same thing on this side. Two, three. So now that we have this done, we're almost done with our ceiling, our uh, roof, I guess, detailing. So last thing I want to do is actually add some beacons. So for these beacons, uh, we're going to just do a couple of beacons over here just to add some more lighting for this particular side of the house. And these beacons need to be placed in a certain way so that they don't um, accidentally melt any of this uh, really cool design over here. So I'm going to go diagonally two blocks in like that with the first beacon. Same thing goes for this side, diagonally two blocks in from the corner. And then we're going to go ahead and jump three blocks. So we're going to have one, two, three, and then we're going to place one. Same thing over here, one, two, three, and then we're going to place one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump four blocks here. So one, two, three, four, and place one. And then it should be the same thing over here, one, two, three, four. 
And with that, you have your beacons placed in a nice way that it's, uh, you know, kind of like two blocks away, and then three, and then four, and then four, then three, then two, just like that. It adds some nice lighting underneath of here. So this place isn't going to be left out in the dark, literally. So that's going to be great. And it also allows you to actually now plant the grass under here because, you know, when it's dark, the, you know, the grass won't stay how it is. It'll kind of just, uh, you know, it won't stay. But now that we have some lighting under here, we can bone mill some grass in. So that's how, that's going to be the final product of that side of the house. Looking great. So we're going to go ahead and move back on the inside and do a little bit of more interior stuff. So with that being said, let's go ahead and work on this living room a little bit. And for this living room, I'm just going to add a couch and a uh, table here. So it's going to be real simple. I'm going to add, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get out some quartz slabs and some snow. That's pretty much all we're going to need for this. We're going to make some like low to the ground couches that look nice and fancy. So I'm going to start right here with a block like that. And it's going to go ahead and extend out just like that. We're going to go ahead and do a stack here of, let's go one, two, three, four. I think that should be good. We're going to go five. And then we're going to go four. And then we're going to go three. And then we're going to go ahead and place. Um, I'm going to go three. Yeah, that should be good. Like that. Yeah, how's that look? That's that's just right. All right, you know what? We're going to actually replace that with this quartz slab. I think I like the quartz slab on that corner better. Yeah, that looks good. So there's our couch design, guys. I love it. <laughs> I love this couch design. So with that being done, let's go ahead and add a little bit of a coffee table here. Again, another really simple design. I'm just going to go like three blocks up, just like that. Just something really simple just to uh, utilize the new feature. So with that being done, that is pretty much going to conclude our living room space. Again, so simple, but it looks good. Obviously, kitchen is going to be over here. I'm not going to do that for this episode. Let's go ahead and move in over here. So we're going to go ahead and rip up the floor a little bit for this, guys. So we're going to need to do that. And this room is pretty much going to be the last thing we do on the house, uh, on the inside. And then I'm going to move outside, do a little bit of a sample landscape in the front yard. And then we'll be out of here. This this tutorial will be complete. So thank you again, guys. I want to really thank you for the support you guys have given this. Um, the first two episodes, uh, really, you guys seem to really like it. So I'm, I'm happy. As long as you guys are happy, I am happy. Uh, let's go ahead and just take this, fill this in with coal here. Obviously, we're going to need to do that. So might as well do it now. Just like this. So for this particular design, I'm actually going to go ahead and place two quartz stairs here going down. We're actually going to rip up another layer of the floor like that. It's going to be quite a drop in elevation. So it's going to be like just barely above the bedrock level, which is right there. So we're going to go ahead and fill this all in like this or just break it all as I should have said. And again, just kind of get this all filled in. So we're going to use some quartz stairs, but we're going to add kind of like a cool effect that we're going to, to try out for this. Something new, something cool. So I'm going to get out some snow real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in like this. Just going all the way down to the ground here. And one more layer here. Just kind of wrapping all the way around. And then we'll start to wrap in the coal. So blocks of coal. Obviously, I love blocks of coal in this texture pack. Uh, great looking block. I wouldn't I wouldn't like uh, use it in many other texture packs. For whatever reason, the default texture pack caters really well with this update. I just grabbed another brick fence that I don't want. So you can go sit out there by yourself. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this entire floor here with... Uh, basically what I'm going to call snow slabs. So what I mean by that is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, basically four blocks of stacked up snow is, is equivalent to a slab. It actually makes this stair line up really nicely. We actually forgot to do this part right there with some coal. So with that being said, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the whole floor here with some snow slabs. So I'm going to do that and come right back at you guys. All right, everybody went ahead and filled it in with some snow slabs. So let's go ahead and move on from there. I'm going to go ahead and grab some cyan stained clay, not soul sand. I'm going to go ahead and grab some quartz slabs. I actually already have those. I'm going to grab some gray carpet, and I'm going to grab some of, like, assorted decorations. So let's go get some flower pots, I guess. Not hay. We don't need hay. Let's get rid of that. So we'll just add some flower pots for now. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm actually going to go ahead and add a bed over in this corner. So we're going to go ahead and jump out three blocks of that, just like that. And then we can actually go ahead and make ourselves like a cool little bed design. So obviously like that and like this. And you can like take this out a couple of blocks here like that. Or like really low to the ground bed, which looks really cool. So something like that, guys. Um, again, it's like really a sleek modern look. So I like that. Um, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to add a little bit of a desk. So I'm going to go ahead and place some, uh, some quartz stairs. I kind of want to do this in like a 
how would I do this? Uh, I guess like this, right? Yeah. And like that. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and place some carpet on top of that. And you can actually place carpet on top of snow, which is really nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and just place a stair like this. And it kind of just looks like a little stool sticking out of the ground. Everything really low to the ground. Looks good though. Now we're going to go ahead and add some uh, quartz slabs here. So I'm going to go ahead and do like something like this. Maybe like, maybe like that. That might look pretty good. Yeah, that's great. All right, so and then we're going to go ahead and place some assorted decorations. So let's go like a flower pot with a rose in it. Let's get like a flower pot with a fern. And then maybe an anvil. Uh, no, you know what? Let's do a player head. Let's go let's mix it up a little bit. We'll, we'll put a little creeper player head right there. And uh, let's go ahead and place that right there. And there we go. We have a little bit of like a decoration on the wall. So last thing I want to do is actually get out a hopper. And I'm going to get out a the hopper from dish, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get this out, and I'm just going to go ahead and replace the, the uh, block below this with snow, not nether rack. You can go join your nether friend over there, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and place a hopper. I'm going to connect it to the wall. Why not? And then I'm going to go ahead and just place a little bit of a, a grassy design right there. Nothing too crazy. And you know what? I don't really like it right on the edge of the... the whoops, I just messed that up. I don't really like it up right on the edge of the, um, of the stair, so I'm actually going to move it over one block. How about that? We have a coal block right there. That might actually look better, like a coal block under it. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that might look better. All right, so one, two, three. So there we go. We have just a little bit of room. So there we go, guys. That's our bedroom design. You can add like uh, some paintings on this wall or maybe more shelving. You can like, if you want, you could, um, I'll show you guys real quick. You guys could like extend the shelving around the corner like that if you want. And then maybe just like add another shelf like right here or something like that. If you want to do that, that's totally up to you. Uh, we're going to just finally do one more thing with this wall right here, and then we'll be out of here. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and break this entire wall of coal right here. And you might be wondering, why are you doing this, Dan? But I'm actually going to go ahead and grab out some snow as well, full snow blocks right here. And this is just going to be a little bit more of lighting to the room. It can never hurt. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of connect this. So I believe this is for, this is just going to run all the way down. Just add a little bit more lighting to the room. If I can actually put it on the right level there, so... And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a, like a little fancy design in the wall. And then I think that should be everything for the interior. So that's going to be great. All right. So again, just fill this all in here. Let's try to fill this in as quickly as I can. There's really no slow or fast way to do it. It's just, it's just slow. But, you know, like I've said many times, it's worth it. All right. So there we go, guys. Just a little bit. It adds actually a nice look to it. And it also just adds a slight little bit more detail there. So... Uh, what I want to do now is actually I'm going to go ahead and add like a little bit of a design here. So I'm going to come like two blocks away from the wall here and like that. We're going to place like three blocks across, maybe even four. And I might actually even go one block away from the wall like that. And then I'm going to go up one block here. One, two, three, four. And then I'll jump up here as well. One, two, three, four. I actually move this in a few blocks here. Let's go ahead and do it like right there. Yeah, that'll look better. All right. So basically what this is, it's just a simple design in the ceiling. Nothing too insane. I uh, just want to add a little bit more detail. And but when I meant ceiling, when I said ceiling, I meant wall. So just a little bit more of a design in the wall, just to add something to it. So again, this is going to be. I'll go five. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll do five block stacks here on these little like things. And this is just going to add a little bit of detail. It looks good. This is just something that you know you can take for inspiration. Something that um you know you can add to any pretty much any wall if you have the space for it. You know, just double stack the wall or even triple stack the wall, which is the case for this particular area. So with that, guys, that pretty much concludes this little uh, fancy modern bedroom. I like this. This is looking great. So uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and move on the outside. But you know what? I, I'm thinking about uh, going ahead and adding what I want to do here. So on the original build, I actually had this like cool little design where I kind of um, alternated blocks here. So basically what I did was I kind of just... Um, you know, kind of add like a random randomizer design in the floor here. So like pretty much all over the floor, I kind of just added um, some blocks here, just in kind of like a random order to just kind of add a little bit of a detail to the place. And it actually looks really good when it's done. So let's see, let's go ahead and add a little bit of this. It's uh, it's mixed of blue, cyan, and light blue, which, you know, none of these are blue <laughs> in the default texture pack, but um, they still good looking blocks, you know, that kind of like purpley magenta maybe. Not really magenta, that's that's not the right color, but you know, like a fuchsia, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's like a fuchsia. I think that's I think that's a fair fair assumption of whatever that color is. Again, you know, 
I'm a male, so to me, colors are just, you know, blue, red, yellow. There's no, like, fancy schmancy names for it in my, in my vocabulary, but, you know, that's just me. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of just fill in this here. Again, it doesn't have to be, you know, insane. Just to kind of just mix it up, randomize it, make it look awesome. And that's pretty much how you want to do this, guys. All right, so let's just go like that. We can do this here like that, and this can be like that. And uh, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Absolutely not. Fill it in with whatever your heart desires. Uh, let's probably make that that. And I guess we can go to that. And there we go. Something like that. Might even do that. So with that, guys, um, that kind of completes what we want to do for this area. Again, just make it super random and awesome. It looks great. It really does. It's great for pretty much any flooring. Looks good in a modern house though, because it kind of gets like that like abstract look to it. So with that, guys, the interior on this build is done. The only thing left to do is a little bit of the landscape and work. Again, um, I'm not gonna go crazy with this. Um, it's really not like something that like is. It's totally up for debate on whatever you guys want to do. So um, let's just go ahead and do a little bit here, just uh, for you guys. So I'm gonna get out some of the blocks I need, like fences, uh, bushes. Uh, we're going to need some oak leaves and some slabs and some stone. That's pretty much all we're going to need. Maybe a little bit of snow as well. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. All right, so basically all I'm going to do is just... That is starting off on the wrong foot there. So let's go ahead and just extend this out a decent length here. doesn't have to be very far. So like right there is good. And then what you want to do is actually go ahead and line up the slabs so they kind of run across... And they're going to kind of run right past the clay here. All right, so this is going to go right past the clay. And just kind of keep it going here. Doesn't have to. And there we go. And then the same way on this direction, kind of heading back towards the rest of the neighborhood. I think I might give myself a little bit too much space, but at least I have some space to, you know, add some more tutorial houses right there in the future. So this is kind of like my little tutorial avenue in this random super flat world. So it's funny. All right. So this is going to go all the way across here. And again, you can just extend this as far as you want. Does not matter at all. This is just a demo. All right. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and add two more linings of slabs here. Connecting to the wall like that. And then the rest of this area is going to get filled in with stone. So I'm just going to kind of quickly fill this in with stone here. And then we're going to add a little bit of a, a couple of little small little, you know, make-believe trees. And then we're pretty much good. All right. So again, going all the way to the edge here. Just got to add, add this little corner of space like this. Kind of get this filled in all the way around. And so there we go. Like that. And let's go ahead and fill this. Oh, look at that. Oh, the flow is so real. Look at this. I'm holding down both triggers right now. Oh, it was working. You can do that sometimes. You can get into like a little sink where you can like... If you press the right trigger, like, just before the left trigger, and then start moving across, you can, like, break in place, like, in a perfect, seamless fashion. Oh. Tips and tricks, guys. Tips and tricks. I love it. Oh, this is so much more effective. <laughs> I should be doing I should be doing that from now on. So, so now we have this filled in. Uh, what I want to do is just go ahead and take some slabs up. So, let's go from, like, right here and just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's take this across a little bit have this run a couple blocks past here so let's go like how many blocks is this here one two three four five six seven eight nine let's go let's go ten how about that and then we can have like some some grass or some leaves running across that as well kind of heading out like that something along those lines again this is just a demo all right so we go one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five four five six seven eight nine and ten then we're just kind of filling some some leaves here just like that how many leaves are on the side so three and three so that's perfect all right so just like that guys and then what i'm going to do last but not least is just add a couple of little trees here so i'm going to come in right here and just do like a little three by three like that jump a couple of blocks here let's jump two Let's do this right here. Gonna get some grass blocks right here. Place those there and there. Same thing on this side. Again, 
one, two, three. Kind of just fill this in like this, like that. And then we're gonna take up like fences, one, two, three, four blocks up of fences. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then last but not least, just kind of like randomly spam some oak leaves. I, I did this in Los Angeles a couple of times uh, in the plaza area. We kind of had like this design where you have like a little bit of like an oak leaf tree thing. It's like a small, like, I guess mini tree. I don't really know. It's just like, you know, artificial tree, I guess is the best way to say it. Something like that. So like that pretty much super easy to build. Really simple. Something like that. And uh, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just kind of like make it like a little cube shape. Don't want to make it exactly, um, you know, like a square. You actually could do that. It might look okay. But I'm going to kind of refrain from doing that. And then back over here as well. All right. So with that, guys, I think that's going to conclude this this little tutorial series. So uh, here it is, guys. Here's the final product of this house. Nice looking house. Um, last thing we can do, though, before we, we're done here is we can actually do one more thing we don't want to break that block but we can break this block and do another layer of seven just like that just to add a one little small crease as well and with that there was a oh my god there's a lot of mobs out here but hey there, there's another npc village off in the distance over there look in the corner of the screen haha -ha. so anyway before i get two more sidetracked um that's it guys that is the final product of the house there is one more thing that i want to show you guys it is totally optional this is probably the most optional thing on the entire house and that is you can actually do a lining of black carpet out on the front of this here. And it just adds a nice little color, like a little bit of a trim on the front if you, sh if you look at it from the front. So uh, you can have it wrap all the way around the entire building. Um, it doesn't look great on the top. Like it's one of those things that looks good from one angle and bad from another. So on the top, it kind of looks bad. So that's why I you know, might want to not do it. But when you look at it from down here, it adds that really nice black trim on the top of the snow, which looks awesome. So it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. But that's where I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you very much for watching this Let's Build. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. Again, you guys have been supporting this like crazy. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It has been your friend neighborhood Dan Likes. Many more Minecraft videos to come as always, guys. Uh, I like this house. I like the way it turned out. Uh, and then once, you know, black stained glass comes out, we can or gray stained glass, you can go ahead and replace that regular glass. So anyway, guys, with that being said, it has been your friend the neighborhood Dan Likes. Thank you very much for watching. I love this house, and I hope you guys like it too. So with that, have a good day, and peace out.